Hi, I'm Steve for News 6. Welcome to our new show from McBroom School in the St. Mary's, Ohio area. We have a lot of interesting stories for you today, along with a couple of interviews with interesting people. Let's get the ball rolling with today's News 6 by going to Chisa. As Steve just said, our sixth grade is located in McBroom Junior High School in St. Mary's, Ohio. Our class is rather unique because it's the only sixth grade at school. We feel quite grown up and honored to get to attend school with older ch students. We get to be more independent than sixth graders at the elementary buildings in town and get to participate in the junior high school activities, including skating parties, intramural sports, and the student council. Our town of St. Mary's is a resort town because we live on Grand Lake St. Mary's, the largest inland lake in the si state of Ohio. The lake is 131 years old and took the work of 5,000 men working five years from 1840 to 1845 to complete the construction. Actually, since the lake was man-made, it's really a reservoir measuring about nine and a half miles in length and about three and a half miles wide. The deepest part of the lake is no more than 10 feet deep. Grand Lake St. Mary's was built to supply water to the locks of the Miami Erie Canal in 1880, oil was discovered in the lake. And during the oil boom period, there was 300 working oil derricks in the lake. Today, our lake is used mostly by tourists for boating, fishing, and camping. We have a very unusual teacher at Broom School. Unusual because she teaches from a wheelchair. Miss Thompson had polio in 1948 and worked hard to learn to live with her handicap. She is qualified to teach any elementary subject plus high school government. Ms. Thompson currently teaches seventh grade language arts. To help out, she uses an overhead projector for a chalkboard or has one of her students write information on the chalkboard for her. Included in the various equipment that Ms. Thompson uses is her wheelchair and her special car. Mirka Herzog talked with Ms. Thompson and here's what she had to say. Mrs. Thompson, when did you get your motorized wheelchair? Uh, I've had my motorized wheelchair now about 10 years. Could you show us how it works? Okay. There are four speeds on the chair and most of the time in the classroom I use a low speed and when I'm in a hurry to get to the office I use a high speed. I don't use the two speeds in between too often. It has two motors and we recharge the batteries at night. It uh, drives just by pressing the direction you want to go. You have a very unique car there. What kind is it? I have a Checker Metacar. It's specially designed for people in wheelchairs or people uh, who are handicapped. It has extra wide doors so that they open 180 degrees and then the ramp pulls out, drive the chair up the ramp, lock the chair in place, and I'm all ready to go. One of our class members, Rush Krug, has a famous uncle who is a pitching coach with the Kansas City Royals baseball team. Galen Sisko, a native of St. Mary's, was considered an exceptional athlete by his high school coaches and was offered a scholarship to play baseball and football at Ohio State in 1955. During his four years at Ohio State, he played football in the backfield with the also famous Hopalong Cassidy. Galen chose baseball as his profession and was drafted by the Boston Red Sox. Later, he was traded to the New York Mets. When his pitching days were over, he took his present job as a coach with Kansas City. Every May 1st, St. Mary's has a loyalty day parade. It's been a custom for several years now, and the 1976 parade was the biggest parade that the town ever had. All total, the parade had 162 units and lasted almost two and a half hours. Most of the costumes worn in the parade were bicentennial in theme. The top honors and drill teams were taken by the New, New Bremen American Legion Post 241. It was estimated that several thousand people watched the parade file past, and everyone who saw the parade had a great time. We're all looking forward to the next May 1st for the next Loyalty Day Parade in St. Mary's. Our class just started to study the continent of Asia. First, we're concentrating on the country of China. 
Some of the topics that our class will be studying will be the Chinese foods, dress, music, national leaders, sports, including karate, and the Great China Wall. The new six cameras caught some of our classmates testing out some of the Chinese food, dress, and sport. Here's how things turned out. In the 1820s, several locks and canals were built in the St. Mary's area. The original purpose for these was to ship surplus crops to either Cincinnati or Toledo. The Miami Erie Canal was 20, 244 miles long. Because the land in the St. Mary's area was higher than the land at either Toledo or Cincinnati, locks were built to help the boats up or down the incline since water doesn't flow uphill. There are 52 locks between St. Mary's and Cincinnati, and 53 locks between our town and Toledo. The canal took 18 years to complete. The work started in 1827 and finished in 1845. The students of McBroom School were asked to make a bicentennial symbol for the school. Mr. Campbell, our pr principal, was one of the judges who had to select from 45 entries. The first place winner was Kurt Leishner, an eighth grader. Two of our sixth grade classmates received honorable mentions. They were Eva Malek and Bobby Paulus. The judges said that the entries were well done and that made the selection of the winners a tough task. Some of the other ideas for the symbol contained flags, eagles, liberty bells, stars and stripes, and other geometric designs. We had an unusual high school art teacher in St. Mary's who was originally from South Korea. She is Mrs. Kim Strickland. She enjoys many of our American foods and likes sports like baseball, snow skiing, basketball, and golf. Kim Strickland attended grade school in South Korea, then attended high school in Ohio and college at Wright State. Julie Garrett talked to Mrs. Strickland about getting her citizenship and her adjustment to the American way of life. Here's what she found out. Tell us about getting your citizenship. I waited for three years before I was able to uh, apply for citizenship. And uh, after I applied, I went up to Toledo, Ohio, to take an exam. And the exams were uh, questions about uh, American government and the uh, history. And the day when I went up, there were like 47 of us who were naturalized that day. What was your hardest adjustment in the United States? I think the cultural difference was one of the hardest adjustments. Like men are more superior over women in Far Eastern culture. And after I came to this country, I was learned to think that men and women are equal. Tornadoes are the most violent of all small storms. They are destructive whirls with a powerful uprush of air and can cause a lot of destruction in just a few minutes. St. Mary's is in the Midwestern Tornado Belt, as is much of Ohio. Because of recent tornadoes in the area, we have a new warning system on the water tower that tells the town's residents when to take cover. We also have tornado drills at school. When the alarm sounds, we file into the hallway. A line of people sit down against the lockers with their heads between their knees and arms over their heads. Then another group of students lean over them, hands against the wall. We think that all schools should have tornado drills in addition to fire drills. You never know when a tornado might head for your school. I'm Steve, and that's our new six for today. We hope you learned a few things from the stories we brought to you. Speaking for Tisa, Jeff, Eva, Julie, Miracle, 
and everyone in the sixth grade at McMurray School in St. Mary's, Ohio. We hope you have a good day and thanks for watching.